Hello, my crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a very nice day. Um, I would like to, to say thank you so very much to the bottom of my heart for the prayers that um, some of you have given me this past weekend and last week um, over my 12-year-old nephew. Many of you probably um, don't know, but the ladies that I am friends with on uh, Facebook um, already know what's you know been going on. Um, I have a 12-year-old nephew, and he and the family were down at the beach last week, and they were taking their vacation. And uh, he had been out playing, you know, just like the other kids. There's five kids, and you know, uh, he's the one of the oldest. Um, there's an old, I've got a niece that's old, about, I think, a year and a half older than him. And he's 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 got a twin brother, so, and this, so it's them. And then there's uh, two or three other kids. There's five kids total. Well, anyway, um, while he was at the beach, he was helping this one lady out in the water because her, her little riding boat is one of those things that you get on and you ride like a motorcycle, but it's it's a water type of boat. Um, motor built, I don't even know what to call them, water bikes, I guess. Um, she was out there, and she had a problem with it, so he went out there to help her with it, and when he came back to the shore, he told uh, his mother that he had a headache, and he passed out on everybody, and he, he, he would, and nobody could get him to come to, and I don't know how he, he got to the hospital. I, I'm not really sure uh, what went down. Um, but somehow or another, he got trans transferred to Pitt Memorial, which is in Greenville Hospital, and they ran some tests on him, and come to find out, he has a very serious heart condition. And that just broke my heart, because he's, you know, 12 years old, and just got diagnosed with a very serious heart condition. Oh, my God. I mean, that that could It was the worst news I could have ever heard. Um, he ended up having to have uh, open-heart surgery Friday. Um... He had to have a what a quadruple bypass done on his heart. Now that's a very serious operation for a 12 year old, and uh, they did the quadruple bypass. And um, one of the valves is has got some permanent damage, unfortunately. And there's just no um, th there's no f really fixing it. It's irreversible, and um, they ended up having to put a um, defibrillator, I'll install a defibrillator in him, so now he's with a defibrillator, so he's taken, um, got that in him. The surgery did fine, uh, we, he did fairly well with the surgery, so we're tickled about that, but, um, w his whole life is going to change, if you know what I'm saying. So we're all kind of like upset about it, and, um, last week I was on pins and needles just waiting by the phone to hear the news, and I I just couldn't concentrate on anything. I mean I, I have a I have a thrift store haul I need to do. Um, is that it? Just the thrift store haul? I think that's it. Or do I have a? Um, I think I've got rid. Yeah, I just have a thrift store haul that I need to do. Um, that's the only thing that I I really have. One haul and and oh yeah, two hauls I need to do, but um. One of them came in today. It was a package that came in today, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Um, I'm going to show something I made because, I mean, it's been haul, haul, haul video for me for a while now, and I'm not showing as many crafts, and I really need to start showing stuff that I'm making so it don't look like I'm a shopaholic, and that's all I do is shop and no craft. But anyway, um, I the weekend while I was trying to get some things done in between doing some housework and getting things ready, we're not sure. We may be taking Sean in because he's got a twin brother, like I said, and there's four siblings under... He's got one sibling older than him, and the other siblings are younger. And the the twin brother is um, attention deficit disorder, and he's part bipolar. And he is a... He's a mean devil. I mean, this kid is a pistol and a half. Um, we've even got him seeing a counselor because he is just... He's a nightmare. Uh, nobody ever wants to keep him because when they keep him, he just he's just a nightmare to keep. So um, we're very worried about Sean coming home because uh, Eric has been one where he's actually taken his his kid brother, his twin brother, and punched him in the chest. I don't know how many times, and I'm just wondering if that maybe that might be why his heart is damaged. Um, the thought has crossed my mind. Let's just say that because uh, this kid this kid is mean. So we're all kind of 
kind of iffy about would it be wise for Sean to come home to a family that uh, we, where there's a brother that likes to fight all the time, and we just don't know what to do. I mean, you know, we're, we know if he comes home and if Eric hits him, the boy is dead. So um, there's a possibility I may be taking in one of the child, children. Um, I'm hoping it would be Sean because I, I don't know if I can handle Eric or not. He's, he's a nightmare. Well, anyway, um, that's been what's been going down with me, and that's why you guys haven't seen any recent videos. And that's also why I've been so quiet and haven't really done too many postings. I have watched a few videos here and there, but I have not really had time. I was so busy doing um, things in the house, trying to get prepared just in case, and I'm still not ready. I still have probably another week to get myself ready to have anybody coming in to stay with me. Um, but anyway, this weekend, uh, after I did some of the stuff that I wanted to do, I decided to get creative, and I had been working on this piece off and on. And uh, thanks to Rosa, uh, Rosa... Your lessons were worked very well. I really do appreciate. I've watched your videos and just to, I can't wait to show you this piece because this you were my inspiration. You're the main reason why I have this piece today, and um, I'm right tickled over it. And uh, oops, I mentioned I forgot to distress one of the uh, tags, but I can do that when I get off. But anyway, my inspiration came from Rosa. I did my first mixed media and uh, acrylic oil painting. <laughs> and I started out with a piece of blank canvas. I cannot wait to show you this. Uh, gosh. Um, I don't know if I can get it any. Can I get it any higher? Maybe. Let's see. Anyway, I, can, I can't wait to show you this. And um, also, I am not good at the color red. I, I mean, I really, red is not really my color, and um, neither is black, to be honest with you. Red and black really are not good colors for me to play with. Um, I, they, they always are a challenge for me. Okay, let's see what that, yeah, that's going to show up better. Um, they always are a challenge for me. I just, I'm just not a red and black person. Um, I'm more the pink, shabby, chic, light blue, you know, the pretty colors, but, um, this, Rosa Aquino, she's um, on YouTube. I know many of you know her and already subbed to her. But if you're not subbed to her, um, her channel is Rosa Aquino 1 at YouTube.com. And she really does some really uh, awesome, bizarre looking pieces. She's an artist in her own. And um, I'm going to have to give this uh, also some credit uh, to uh, Becky McCauley. Uh, she is, um, Aunt, Aunt, Aunt B's, Aunt B, Aunt B's creations, Aunt Beck's creations, and then, um, who else? Angel Dream 1963, Kim, I have to give her some credit to, uh, Kim and I did a swap a while back ago, and, uh, she gave me a paper pad and some chipboard pieces, and it's, um, what is it? It's by Prima, and it's a Paris theme. Welcome to Paris by, by Prima. So, um, I've had this paper for quite a while, and like I said, red and blacks are just not my colors. Um, it's, it's challenging for me to do um, those colors because I'm, I'm a shabby chic person. So, I had a time trying to do something not shabby chic and but you know it ended up looking a little shabby chic anyway I think it's got a little mixture so what I did is I took some canvas and I took a pencil and I just thought in my head something in my head that I had in my I, I just I don't know something about I wanted to do an abstract and I've never done really an abstract before so I got my blank canvas and some acrylic, acrylic uh, black acrylic paint uh, red acrylic paint a little bit of orange or no yellow um, acrylic paint some pink acrylic paint um, basically just mixed up all these different kinds of paints to make different colors and I started out with um, 
doing this canvas in the background here with the uh, kind of like a burgundy-ish, orangish red. So it's got a little uh, red in it. It's got like a little burgundy. It's got a little bit of yellowy. Um, you know, it's just got a little mixture of colors, but it looks more red than it does anything else. But it just has that blending. So the colors um, blended together. And it's not a smooth painting. It's kind of like a... Um, texture. I kind of put a little texture to it. And then I painted the lines. Um, I made it look like a window. And But then I, I wanted uh, to go this way, like a slanted. So I just, somehow or another, it ended up turning out to be with uh, black on the sides, like a back black rim with the center being like a window. And then there's this, like, this sidewalk. And, and then there's all these little... Um, slants like it's glass window or something. It, it just, I don't know, it was just in my head. I painted it and I can't explain why I painted it and the way I painted it, but it's just the way I designed it. And um, then after I got done painting it, it was pretty. It was nice. It, you know, it was a very nice abstract painting. I was very pretty. I was very proud of it. But I wanted something unusual. I didn't want just an abstract. So after it dried, um, I got the pieces out that um, Angel Dream 1963. Thank you, Kim. As you can see, I finally got to use some of the Prima, um, the Welcome to Paris paper that you got me. Um, the idea got in my head, and I finally used some things. So what I did is I pulled out some of the chipboard pieces, and um, the chipboard pieces uh, were of the lady with the dress, and then there's another lady with her dress, and there was the love, the chandelier. Um, then there were some little buttons of the shape, heart shape, the Eiffel Tower. I cut that's a cut. I fuzzy cut that out of some of the paper. Um, she also gave me some Prima leaves, which is the same thing from from the um, uh, Welcome to Paris. Uh, collection so I put some I put one of my resin flowers down here um, this is a flower that um, Aunt Beck's creation she made me it's very pretty thank you so much Becky um, I really enjoyed that and this is a flower also that Aunt Beck's creation sent me um, she made some flowers and she tried these out and this, she sent me this one um, I did a little work to this one and then she sent me one similar to that, that. This is not hers. This one's actually mine. But um, she had me one. And uh, I made something out of that already. In fact, I need to get it out and show it. But what I did is I took... Um, I had some red silk fabric. And I cut it like what she had hers. And I made myself a rose. Um... Her rose is a little more fuller than mine. Mine's a little more flatter. Um, but anyway, I um, did the same thing she did. I took the candle and burned uh, around the corners. I put some glitter on on it. I liked her glitter effect, so I put some glitter. And I did the pe the pearl beads. She ha I had some white and black pearl beads and some feathers. So I put the feathers behind it, and I made it almost identical to hers. In fact, it, I, it actually looks identical to hers. But this one's mine, and hers is a little bit different. She's got a stick pin sit, sitting here somewhere, and, and um, hers doesn't have the uh, lace dolly. I got I got a lace dolly here that a glimmer misted, and then I've got a white dolly that I put over top of that, and then I put this flower on, the beads, the feathers, and I put the black leaves on um, in the corners, and I made a, a red and uh, red and crystal uh, stick pin, and. Um, I glued everything down, and uh, this is what I came up with, and I hope everybody uh, likes my um, mixed media. It's the first canvas I've ever done, so this is my first altered canvas, and in the very top up there, I have, I have love, then it's smile, um, ooh la la, this is a day, this is a day. Uh, welcome, Paris, hello, and um, enjoy the enjoy the life it's uh oh shoot i can't read it hang on a minute enjoy the life it's um uh, shoot hang on let me put my glasses on see how blind i am 
Enjoy the life is great. Okay, so um, as I'm going to do a little close up. So as you can see, there's the, um, do like a little close up with it. And there's the flower. And my main focal point, I had like a blank center. And it was so drab, the center. And I was like, oh, God, i got to find something to do with the center. I mean, it's like I knew what I wanted on, on the sides of this piece and down at the bottom what I wanted and wanted at the top. But then when I got to the center here, I'm like, gosh, what can I put in the center? And um, I was digging through flowers and I was digging through the cameos and I was just digging through, like, you know, um, some mixed media type, I mean, some illustrations and um, em ep ephemera. And I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do about that center. And then... Um, while I was going through the flowers, I picked out the one, the, these two flowers that, um, I think it was, it was either, it was either Monique or Aunt Beck's Creations, that one of those two ladies gave me that flower, and, uh, but it's not that flower, but they gave me this one here, and they gave me this one, and I had one like that, in fact, there was two, there was a pink one and there's a red one, but the red one, like I said, I've already used it on a project, and I remembered it, you know, I said, I'm going to try to make one identical to hers. I had the fabric. My fabric's a little bit different than what hers was. I had the black leaves. So I tried to make it as exactly identical as I could. And it looks just like, it almost looks just like hers, except mine's a little bit flatter. Hers was a little bit fuller. So, um, and the stick pen's in a different place. And the... Leaves, um, it has leaves and it has dolly and underneath it, so it's got a little bit of difference there. But anyway, I liked her flower theme so well that I made my own flower and and um, I just stuck it in the center and uh, that's that became my focal point. So this is my mixed media. I hope everybody likes what they see. Um, this is the first time I have made a mixed media and um, give me a comment and tell me what you think. Uh, I hope hopefully. Uh, if there's something else that you think is missing on it, let me know. Um, I have left this here blank. Uh, it's like a label. And I'm thinking about putting either uh, some kind of saying inside here or somebody's name. If I decide to give it out, I might just put someone's name on it. I'm undecided if I'm going to give this away or if I'm going to um, keep it. I'm not really sure yet. I may end up giving this, uh, gifting this to somebody. But, um... I'm thinking about it first. But anyway, th so that's why I'm leaving that blank. If I'm going to keep it, I'll put a saying on the inside here. But if I uh, plan on giving doing, giving it away to a friend, then I'm going to put, write their name here in the center. I might put, like, their last name, you know, and so so they can hang it on the wall. And, you know, it's not just their name, but it's their, their last name so the whole family can see the, the last name but this is what i came up with and this is one of my projects i worked on this weekend hope you guys like um thanks for uh being a sub subby to me and uh spread the news and let people know um to come and visit my channel i i would love to have more friends uh and i love you guys so much uh you a great inspiration to me and I do watch everybody's videos, and I have learned so much from everyone. And for that, I'm very grateful. Well, y'all have a nice day. Talk to you later. Love you, and bye-bye.